is Battletech. Teams of up to eight face off in a computer-generated environment. I wanted to produce something that uh, people became the heroes of a fiction. To do that, they have to be able to think their way through a situation, to problem solve, to work as a team, to take risks, uh, and to understand the fiction in a larger sense. And that's what Battletech is really all about. Relying on his 10-year background in game development and simulation design, Weissman has created what may be the world's first computer sport. Pinball wizards pitting their skills, not against computer-generated patterns, those can be memorized, but instead against other players who think ahead, learn from their mistakes, and are totally unpredictable. You control your cockpit with foot pedals, and since there's no set path, you can go anywhere on the screen you choose. The terrain is designed to resemble what a space invader might encounter in the 21st century, complete with natural obstacles. And again, because the game is interactive, when you run into roadblocks, you have a galaxy of choices. Walk around it, plow over it, or if you're the destructive type, it's really exciting because, you know, especially, you know, if you play someone who's better than you are, you know, then it's, it's really, it's, it's even, I, I think it's, it's you, get, you get real tense because you think this person is just going to kill me, you know, and then you might go and, and blow his arm off or, you know, knock his leg off and all of a sudden you're going you're gonna to beat him. Battletech aims to put the player in a fantasy environment, but it also places a premium on reality. Unlike those amusement park rides where you push buttons and they either fall off in your hand or else do nothing, when you push a button in your Battletech pod, you'd better be prepared for the consequences. One of the things we wanted to design was such that strategy was as important, if not more important, a factor in the game than eye-hand coordination. And it's really proven by my dad and his friends who were, uh, you know, all had military service back in the, in the 50s and 60s. Uh, they get together and they go against uh, teenagers and they kick their butts every time. The technology behind Battletech is the same sophisticated imaging of commercial and military flight simulators used by NASA and the Air Force. Each image is created by a computer-aided design system and stored in memory. As you can imagine, such sophistication doesn't come cheap. Centers are expected to cost close to a million dollars. Pong, the first video game, gave birth to an arcade explosion. Millions of dollars were eaten by Pac-Man, and for years, better generations of games surfaced in a very competitive market. By the end of the 80s, though, the pay-per-play electronic game craze fell off. Battletech centers with their virtual universe may bring on a gaming renaissance. 